lectures and a very warm welcome. Uh, it's a pleasure for Madhuban uh, that every year we get this opportunity to conduct either a workshop or a webinar for DPS Siliguri. Uh, Madhuban and DPS Siliguri has been uh, associated with each other for a number of years now. And every time we meet, whether personally, virtually, it's a pleasure connecting with all of you. So art integration is the talk of the town right now. Every school, every board, uh, every campus that we visit, every teacher that we talk to, uh, is, there's a lot of questions, there's a lot of queries as to what art integration is all about. How do we go about it? How do we integrate art in our daily curriculum subject? So we, it's our honor to have Dr. Bhattacharya with us, uh, who will throw a light on what we have been talking about for so many years now. Uh, just a brief introduction about ma'am. Uh, Dr. Bhattacharya is not only an educationist, but an administrator. She's very, very passionate about leading a happy team. Uh, very close to our city. She worked in Calcutta for many years. Currently, she's the principal of Manav Rachna International School in Delhi. So, you know, working across the country, she has two decades of experience. And we are very, very lucky to have her with us today and share her thoughts on what art integration is all about. And also her experience as an educationist, I'm sure this particular session will be really, really enriching. So with the, without further delay, over to you, ma'am. Thank you so much. I could just read your name as Kolkata Madhuban. Uh, thank you so much for such a wonderful introduction. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Before I go into any detail, I would just like a few texts, only I consider only first two to three. I would just like to uh, get an answer, yes, no, from uh, the, my audience. Do you believe happy teachers create happy classrooms? Just write yes. I'll wait for a few responses. Happy teachers creating happy classrooms. Yes or no? If you are happy, you can make your class happy. Just a few messages, please. Quick. These days we are also tech savvy. Ah, great. great. Thank you so much. Uh, I wish we were together uh, on a campus uh, meeting, not as a virtual meeting. However, virtual meeting, the pandemic has really made things so beautiful these days that we are meeting wherever we are. You are in Siliguri, uh, a very favorite place of mine. Uh, the doers visit uh, was a regular uh, one every year when I was in Kolkata and uh, I, my roots are there. I still uh, feel that's my place. However, because of my job and my husband being in the army, we are visiting and staying different parts of the country. However, this has been a journey where I have learned so much from different states, from this different dialogues, from different people across. And that is what has actually kept me going and updated me with all the topics related to education. And today's uh, topic is, is a beautiful one, art integrated learning in school. It's a question, like, as I said, as I started with happy teachers creating happy classrooms, you know, when CBSC uh, gave us this offer that this has to be included in the classroom scenario, there were so many principles uh, The typing is so fixed, uh, so very full. Uh, how do we place it? We realized it. It's not to be placed in a timetable or a period with happy teachers creating happy classroom. It is to be incorporated in each and every class. That was the training that we had given. And me being a CBSC uh, master trainer, I've taken a number of topics. And this particular topic that is art integrated learning is again a very close to my heart uh, topic. You may ask science, arts, commerce. I'm talking of the senior most classes. How do we do art there? With the earlier children, definitely it is done, I'm sure, with each one of you. Everyone already does it. With the primary section, still it continues. Then from the middle section, we realize that there is so much of content, so much to complete in the curriculum. How do we go about that? And to talk of PGT classes, oh no, that's just not possible because physics, chemistry, bio, no one will understand how much we need to do. 
Why physics, chemistry, bio? Why not accounts? Why not economy, economics, geography? There is so much to do. Where do we bring in art? My dear friends, art is not only a drawing of a house or a flower or a scenery. It is so much to do with education. And today we are going to discuss on how important it is. I, before I begin, I would still say these workshops are not to know something new. We are all educated. We are doing an excellent job. And if you are a teacher for a longer duration, you are already a master in the particular subject. And if you've joined new with the new teachers, the wonderful ideas that comes in, I think it's a dual interest that we all live together in a school environment. So how do we incorporate or integrate art in our school? And why is it necessary? It's a discussion. I wish we can talk more and participate, but time is a positive and on a virtual mode, it becomes a little difficult. However, I'll not let you sit. We might keep answering a few questions here and there. Art integrated learning, just to give an overview, a pedagogy where art becomes the basis of teaching and learning process. It is to give an opportunity to the students to experience the visual part of the lessons, as well as by performing arts to build an understanding. You know, many a time, unknowingly, frankly speaking, you teachers must be doing it. My dear friends, when we talk of art, it is not necessarily that we call an art teacher. You as a teacher is an artist. You as a teacher is a counselor. Do you have counseling sessions in chemistry and physics or accounts geography? No, no way, but you're doing it wherever required. Similarly, you don't even realize how beautifully you utilize art as part of your teaching methodology. I, as a senior, was my subject at PhD in English literature. And trust me, even in 11, 12, I used so much of art while teaching. And I take pride to say that I have been one of the favorites of, the, of my students. So it is not that we don't do or we just bring in some artists to come and uh, participate in our classes. We do it on a regular basis, unknowingly, not realizing on the board. And this pandemic online teaching has been so very efficiently dealt by the teachers. Hats off to the education department or the educators all across. I would give special credit to all the Indian educators because laptop was an easy access for all of us. Technology, we knew. We knew how to go, go and give a mail. We knew how to search a particular topic. We were working. But the way we had shifted, the paradigm shift from a classroom scenario to the virtual scenario has been dealt extremely, extremely well by Indian educators. Why I mention Indian educators? When we talk of overseas, they've been doing it. They've been doing it actively. But we were somehow reluctant in depending ourselves on technology for our regular classes. And therefore, we avoided that intentionally. Not that we did not know. Yes, a group of teachers who were not very tech savvy because they are with, are with the education sector for a longer duration, so they may not be comfortable. But the shift that we have done, whether a new or, an, uh, or a senior teacher, I think it's commendable. And all of you need to give a pat behind your uh, back saying that you've been doing an excellent job in that shifting. And while we did this, did you realize how much art you have used? while taking a virtual class. You have been thinking that these days at the click of the button, everything is available to the students. When you Google it out, the child gets all details. However, you were insisting on a PPT presentation to make your class interesting. And when you took a PPT, preparing the time that you took for preparing your PowerPoint presentation, that is where you have used extreme art which you have not done all these years. But while you were in the classroom, I think peer teaching, you making a child come out or making a, explaining, explaining the bond of uh, chemistry, the bondings or the periodic table, or uh, talking about geography, you made people, they take, uh, done the role play, you've gone in for street plays or Nukkarnatak or so many things that we have done. These are art. 
You've been using it, you've been doing it. Now you might ask then why this workshop? What's the necessity of this workshop? As I told you, we are all educators. We are all masters in our own subject. We, it is not that we don't know anything. However, we need to discuss, share, recapitulate. And that is the requirement of today's workshop. And I thank Madhuban to call me, having trust in me to have such a discussion. I think today we're going to have a good session. So holistic development is what we look forward to. A child, when he comes to the school, the principal or the head admission just says, in our school, we ensure that we get holistic development of a child. It is not only the curriculum. These are stereotype sentences that we talk, that we don't want only curriculum to be taught. We want the child to stand up tomorrow independently. The child should be a public speaker, a good public speaker, for which we give enough practice to the child. We are using art. What sort of art? We will come in gradual discussion. We talk of experiential learning where the child does and uh, uh, get the understanding. And while playing, we teach our children, which is a joyful learning. So that is exactly what we mean by art integrated learning. And 21st century teacher skill, one of the very much important, uh, very important skill is to ensure that a teacher goes in for a joyful learning. NEP 22, uh, 2020 and uh, the pandemic, they came both together. And I think God has plans for everything. Those uh, Though second wave was a very, very tough one. Many of us have lost our good friends. Many of us lost uh, our own close people. However, we have to agree that this pandemic has really taught us many things. When it comes to technology, I think we have gone up to such a level which even in 10 years we would not have uh, uh, succeeded. However, to talk of this, when we talk uh, of our classes in the campus, we do, which we started again, which we do a lot of art we use in the classroom scenario. Similarly, we did the same while we took our online classes. So if we talk of art, if we talk of curriculum, how can it be integrated? How can we bind the two? Art means dance, music, theater, puppetry, and many more things. Whereas when curriculum is concerned, we talk of science, literacy, mathematics, engineering, and many more other things. So how do we club these two? And when we club these two, we call it art integration. We are taking the care of our curriculum with a mixture of art, which may be dance, which may be music, which may be theater, which may be puppetry, which may be public speaking, and many more. So that is what is art integration in a normal scenario. We do not need a particular slot or a period where we explain how art can be part of our curriculum. It is done automatically. If not done, we need to do it. Or if we had been doing it at a very lower space or a less speed, we need to increase the speed so that our children enjoy our classes. Certain classes are drab, I would say. Since uh, I have not uh, been good in mathematics, I would find maths class very drab. At the same time, if dates and everything is not my cup of tea, I would find history a very, very uh, unrealistic class for me. I will not be paying attention to it at all. If I don't understand chemistry, I would find chemistry teacher the, uh, the one of the most unwanted teacher and unwanted slot. So such is the activity or the realization where a teacher is uh, required to work on. Am I getting through to all those 25 or 30 children of my class? Am I able to reach all the 25? Because first few children are always uh, very active or maybe in between one or two children who answers my question in whichever subject it is is a child who's understanding. But what about those who are not uh, writing anything, not taking my notes or not giving me any answer or are quiet, just looking, giving me uh, attention, trying to uh, show that yes, the child is attentive. Am I reaching him? Am I being able to uh, communicate what I want to? See friends, com uh, completing the syllabus is not everything that we look forward to. If my, if, if you think of Bloom's taxonomy, it says 
that I have completed my lesson or I could reach my children only when the child is able to create understanding, analyzing, absolutely fine. So the child is, in, uh, uh, is allowed or is able to create something. Create does not necessarily mean creating a flower or uh, creating a toy or something. Create his own ideas and then analyze his work. That is loose taxonomy. So have I been doing justice to all those children in the class uh, and able to convince that, yes, this is my chapter and I have completed it. Now I expect you to understand, analyze, and create your own lessons. We need to analyze that ourselves first. And if not, that is where art comes in. And that is how we need to incorporate art, whichever may be the area. It can be the puppetry, it can be com communication skill, or whichever you can say. When I integrate that for at least those children who are attracted towards it, that is the time I have actually completed my chapter. I have done justice to my lesson and I could reach out to each and every child. Now you might come and say, ma'am, where is the time? Where is the time to do all these things? My dear friends, you will have to create that time. You were given a slot, you were given a time duration, you were given a lesson plan or you were given a book you need to complete. So how you complete, how interesting you can do it, I am sure everyone has that in the tips of their fingers. You will have to remember, as you were a child, I don't think you remember each and every teacher of yours who, from every class. That's not possible. But somewhere down the line, you remember one fine teacher who did have some, uh, I mean, who could create some extraordinary memory, and you still remember that. Now, if you go back and think on her teaching methodology, or her personal relationship with the students, I think you will realize how she has been an intelligent teacher. And though she did not attend a workshop and that too on a virtual mode like you and me, I think somewhere down the line, she was extraordinary because she not only depended on that book, on that chapter, on those pages where she just read it out and explained on the board with a little bit of explanation, she did add many more things. She did integrate many more things. And that is why the teacher is different. Why can't we be so? Why can't you be so? Why can't I be so? There are five teachers going to each and every class on a regular basis. Why can't I make that difference in the child where the child will think at least if not come to me, will think of me when I am not there in his life, maybe in the next class. Let us promise ourselves to be that. And I'm sure many of you existing here are already such a personality who's so different, who's creating so much of difference in a child's life. Objective of the module. We need to understand that art as a pedagogical tool and it can be implemented in the holistic development of a child. It is experiencing art as a medium of creative so that the child can express himself. It is using the creative expression to make the learning and the teaching mode more interesting. And Suchitra, ma'am, ma I'm so sorry to be interrupting. Your slides are not moving, ma'am. You're still on the first slide. Oh, don't tell me. Yes. Now? Yes. now? Uh, no, ma'am. I'll request you to kindly share it. Share your screen again. Okay, just give me a second. Yeah, I'm on the second slide. Uh, yes, you're on the second slide, ma'am. Okay. No. Um, actually, we were so uh, engrossed listening to you that I personally did not realize that the slide hadn't changed. I was so busy listening to you, and it was such a you know engrossing and enriching session so nice. that I didn't even realize that now the slide is it had changing. Changed. Just tell me if it's changing. Chitra, ma'am, just do a screen uh, the slideshow mode from the bottom. Yeah, I'm, I have done it. As uh, it now? I, I can't see the slideshow mode, ma'am. Okay, let me just see once again. I guess this problem. Now, 
No, ma'am. Ma'am, if you share your screen again, uh, in uh, share screen, share not the PPT, share the screen. Okay, okay, get it, get it. Just give me a second. I'll stop sharing first. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Ma'am, now do the slideshow. Yeah. Perfect, Ma'am. Perfect. Now? Yes, now it's Absolutely. moving. Yes, Ma'am. Yes, yes, okay. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry. I was, uh, not to worry. I, in fact, I'll just tell you this. Uh, I did not go much. I was talking more as uh, uh, you have told me. So this was my second slide where uh, I spoke of the holistic and the joyful learning. And uh, this was why, where I wanted to show how we could integrate both the curriculum and the art while I was talking of math, science and others. And what are the modes of art uh, that we could go about? This is the third slide which we were talking. Let us understand the module, objective of the module. It is basically, as I have repeated, uh, understanding that art can be a pedagogical tool to ensure that holistic development takes place to understand or experience art as a medium which can be creative and it can be increasing our self-expression. So when a child is being explained the chapter, he should be able to give his own self-expression. You know what, in Indian methodology of our teaching, or we ask our children to answer the questions. I think the concept has changed now. We are dealing with the future generation and therefore let us not ask questions let our explanation be such that children ask questions to us. You know, it's only then we can reach up to the 21st century children. Let us answer, explain the chapter in such a way that I will not want my child or my children to answer the questions that I have uh, asked them. Forget about those days when we taught a child a particular formula and the child would have had to give the same answer or the answer is a similar question with the formula that I have taught. Even if he knows a different formula, then also I don't give him marks. Why? Because he's not followed instructions. Gone are those days, my friends. Let us invite and learn from the students. I'm sure you will agree. When we went on the online mode, just now the way you have uh, told me that I must do this, I think we have learned these things from our children. When I was visiting the classes, like uh, uh, from the beginning, 20th March, uh, I think we went, 20th March, 2020, we closed all our schools. And most of us started, especially schools like uh, ours, yours, where we have uh, no dearth of resources. We could start our classes at the dot of the session where, which was planned. Like we started on 6th of April, 2020. When it was 7th, it would have been 7th, we started on 6th. How could we do that? because of our possibility of having infrastructure, resources and everything, be it from the parent side, be it from the management side, everywhere. Yes, there are many schools who couldn't. However, everyone tried. And though we were aware of with the trainings and everything, yet I could see when I visited in the team, the children were teaching just the way you guided right now. Children were teaching the students. So that is where we need to tell that, yes, this is, the, uh, this is how we need to teach. We have to first unlearn what we have learned. Please let us not keep ourselves blocked that I am master's, I am PhD, I am MPhil, and therefore I know everything. Yes, we know much more than anyone else in my subject. However, dear friends, if you really want to be up, I mean, uh, to be on the um, uh, upper scale to teach your children, you now also will have to research on your subject, even though your masters and your emphasis. Please see that every portion, whatever comes up new, you are aware of that. And that is where I think in that manner, we can give, it, give the ideas to the children so that children can be creative. And I think art, expressing yourself through art, your chapters, your explanation can go in much better go. Has my slide changed? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, wonderful quotation. This is what I have picked up from the internet. Beautiful quotation. If a child can't learn the way you teach, maybe we should teach the way 
tailor. That is where we need to change ourselves. As I said, unlearn the methodology that we have learned and learn new. This is 21st century skill. And art integration is a very, very important uh, area where we need to work on for the 21st century children. So if you don't see, if you see that the child is not understanding, just don't keep the piles of books beside him and give him that knowledge he has to. You need to teach the way he wants. And as you know, we have, uh, uh, CBC has allowed us to take special need children. I think that's an excellent uh, change that has taken place. Uh, most of our schools, progressive schools like ours, we had started this much before the NEP 2020 came in. However, NEP has made it compulsory. We need to include. What do we teach them? They are part of my class. So at least for them too, I need separate methodology. So let us teach the way they want to learn. That is something which we all need to keep in mind. Yeah? And those, uh, you will have to agree, all this pan and during this pandemic, those who have not upgraded or those who are not working on the new methodology and you feel that you have got enough knowledge, I think very soon we will be out of this rat race. So all my friends, keep yourself updated. Know more on what's happening. Try to teach the children the way they want. Try to incorporate different methodology like art into your teaching and you will see what a difference it makes. Uh, art is an essential part of human experience that all of us will agree. There are many being a Bengali culture, most of you, are, I, it was so nice to see so much, so many uh, surnames with, uh, which is so close to my art. Uh, I am sure most of you are actually expert in some form, form of art, being a culture from that uh, Eastern side. There must be many masters in uh, physical education or uh, any other subjects, as I was mentioning, uh, political science. You are musicians, you sing. And when you feel tired, I think that's the best way you can get rid of your tiredness. Just sing out to yourself and listen to this music. There are many who are artists. So if you feel low, you go and sketch. So that brings in, diverts your attention to a better place. So why can't you create that better place for your students? While teaching, it's not necessarily every day you need to draw something to uh, ensure that your children understand. Or every day you have to make the children listen to certain things. Definitely, if required, even speeches of various eminent personalities can be brought forward for a better understanding. Showing a presentation is what is using art. So now we take out clippings, even for literature from Shakespeare also, we take clippings, maybe they understand better the dress code, the requirement, why, why Shakespeare created or for whom were these uh, dramas created or made to, to um, I mean, reach out to which sort of people. If you talk of children taking them out for a tour, now we go in for most of the schools, uh, a little affluent schools where children come from affluent families, you take out to tour to NASA. We never even thought of these. These are art. You want the child to go and see Kutub Minar, or you want the child to go and see the church, or you want the child to go amidst nature to understand the subject better. So we, art is essential part of human experience that you have to agree to it. It is recommended that all students should study art, not necessarily uh, uh, going for a music class or not necessarily going for a painting class, but they need to study some sort of art to discover how human beings communicate. A small child of early years, if you ask him, especially this pandemic, they just lost that uh, so many skills. If you ask a child how many legs does a dog have, he may not recollect. But the moment you show him outside a cat or an animal or take him to the zoo, you can teach the, 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 how they communicate, the animals, how they, they communicate, what is an endangered animal, why are they an endangered animal, what needs to be done, reuse, the way we are talking of, how to take care of the environment, Take them, you make them plant trees. These are all art related 
ways or methodologies of teaching. So not only with words we can uh, teach them, but also through music, through dance, through visual arts, all these methodologies. Physical education has always been a part of um, our trainings. That does not necessarily mean that uh, uh, physical education means just to go and do some sort of PT. If you have to teach children the games rules, take them out and incorporate the same with different subjects. History and sociology or sociology and geography or mathematics with some sort of games to show them that how uh, uh, we measure a uh, football ground, which is a square, which how we can ensure why is, I mean, football is just a geometry. So these things is what we need to relate or ensure that we discuss in the class. It's known fact. Everything, whatever I'm saying is nothing new. It's known to you, each one of you. However, let us talk of all these more so that the children understand the lesson better. Uh, uh, if I say art integrated learning is a learning approach, which means learning through art, in simple words, taking the help of art is just an example. While teaching in a class, if a teacher creates a situation, you know, you create a situation, you make uh, children come up on, uh, uh, near, near, I mean, some children who do the reading, they come up, they enact. This can be done in history. This can be done in, done in geography. Any way we can do this. And that is what art is. My friends, please see that such things are done, if not on everyday basis, but definitely at a regular uh, methodology, regular process, so that we make our children uh, understand the chapter much better, and we help the children to understand the lesson through the art, which I thought today will be the art of my class. It can, it just left to you. I'm sure no one will tell me, tell you as a teacher or the head of the institution, the principal or the director will never tell you, ma'am, ye lesson ke liye aap ye kijiye, ye lesson ke liye ye. You develop your curriculum. You develop your lesson plan, what you want to do. And such details are not required. No one is interested. Your head of the institution wants your lesson to be interesting, wants your children to understand your lesson and definitely produce good results, which means the understanding level has gone up to such an extent that the child can produce. Now, getting good result does not necessarily mean everyone should get 90%. That's not everyone's cup of tea. There is a slot who will be getting it. However, others should understand and others should be able to relate what you have taught. That is what we need to do. Forms of art generally we use are, as I said, it can be visual arts, it can be performing arts. So painting or photography or stage art or a clay modeling, sculpture making, applied art, craft. These are various ways where we can incorporate in the class. It need not necessarily be only the a visual art teacher who will be taking, uh, uh, making, uh, 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 making these uh, clay models and everything. Geography is so interesting. Making soil, that is what we interesting for them because there are many more uh, reasons. But most important reason is the strength of their. Uh, if we talk of Finland education system, in fact, Philippines are such an underdeveloped. Initially, we used to consider it to be underdeveloped uh, country, but otherwise in academics, they are really doing excellently well. One of the reason when we talk of overseas countries is the strength of the class, which is just impossible for us to maintain maybe 20, maybe 18 is to one, which is very difficult in our country. However, there's no point in thinking what is not there with us. It is impossible for the management to create classrooms after classroom so that your class strength remains 18 or 20. So whatever we have, let us try to understand that we need to utilize that. So applied, if I, as I was saying, making stones, making soaps, makes these uh, lessons so very interesting. Let them try their own hands. Of course, taking 40 or children from the class and getting it done becomes a little difficult. However, as I said, every individual uh, is different and you can, you with the, with the scenario that you have, I think you have to plan it whichever way you have to take it. Performing art, as we all know, as we have been saying, miming and magic performances can do amazing job, can do amazing job. You know, how do we create? Now there, I don't have any formula to tell you to uh, teach physics 
by following this sort of dance or vocals or theater or puppetry. That can't be told. That is you as a person who is expert in your subject will have to create, will have to do it, will have to ensure that particular thing. And even for you, if you are a, a subject of one, uh, I mean, teacher of one subject, it may not be the same formula for every uh, chapter. You need to create it in such a manner so that you can bring out from the now that we are so, Google is so very acceptable and we refer to it so often, pick out something of that particular era of that particular society. Now we are talking of languages. We need to incorporate any language. We can talk of, uh, uh, of a particular state, uh, maybe talk of their culture, show them uh, the, the food habits, the dress code, the vegetations, everything can be uh, done just to go out of your way uh, than just going in for normal explanation of the chapter or reading the chapter. So we need to understand where and how I can use it. My lesson plan may not be the same as my colleague's lesson plan, though it is the same uh, uh, standard that we are teaching, maybe the same uh, subject also, but then yes, collaboration. We need to collaborate, understand, and have such discussion. If I'm taking section A, I am such, uh, I mean, I'm, very I'm very confident to ensure that art is part of my lesson. Whereas in uh, section B, that teacher doesn't do, let us not keep our ideas only to ourselves. Sharing, caring also is what we teach our children. So until and unless I share my ideas, until and unless I am open to take others' ideas, how do I teach my children to share and care? So we need to do it ourselves. Please remember, it is always, always easy to say and not to actually be in that field. But children understand, my friends. Children understand so well. You can preach, but if you are not following that, I think children will understand. If not the first lesson, second lesson, third lesson, definitely. 22 or 30 children are looking at you. They are seeing your expression. They are seeing your smile. They are seeing your dress code. They are seeing your attitude. So please go understand that you need to cooperate with the colleagues. Maybe learn from a different school. We have this, uh, uh, CBSC has done this also, like three, four schools are clustered together and we have the sharing of ideas. So you need to learn, be open-minded so that you can learn even from a junior and definitely you need to teach whatever expertise you have. So in this manner, I think both the classes will be as interesting as possible. If I talk of forms of art used in the learning process, as we have said, it's going to be, it seems it's a repetition of uh, whatever I've been saying. However, art is what art is. Art is painting, art is music, art is photography, art is stage play. I can't change that. But yes, we will talk from different dimensions, mentioning those realities. What is art? What is performing art? What is beautiful art? So we are discussing on different uh, ideas. Why don't you take your children to the cinema to understand when you are talk, talking of the pyramids? Because reality and fiction, they are inseparable. They, you can't separate them. What is reality is actually what is uh, uh, fiction and what is fiction is what is reality. So they are depending on each other. So let us take our children sometimes outside also if required or maybe in the school, show them our presentation which talks of those pyramids which is so difficult for them to learn so many details which they have not seen and it is not possible for them to visit them. Why don't we teach while we're teaching Sanskrit, why don't you take them to some place where they could see the, the, uh, the uh, art where it is maintained? Like if, for example, we can take them to the museum. We can take up a history while we are doing it in the, uh, in the annual function. Why can't we take something from the history or something from the uh, um, uh, other subjects which we teach and give them a role play? So these are the things which, you, which we have to ensure that we do it in our classes. Social media is something which is so very important these days. And what is social media? It is nothing but again an art where we select pictures, we edit pictures. And I am telling you, 
children are doing an amazing job many parents come and say ye pandemic mein kuch padha hi nahi hua bachcho ne ye nahi hum educators bhi hum bolte hain bahut loss ho gaya hai ye nahi hua writing skill chala gaya hai it is there they have missed quite a bit but what they have gained i have had number of interaction because this online mode is giving me a chance of being an international speaker i have interacted with number of students and trust me only 10% says that they have actually lost 90% i'm talking of good students not that wo padhai nahi karna pada they was under the quill they were attending the class they were cheating and giving the answers therefore they were doing well these are part and parcel okay this has happened but 90% of the children utilize this time to get closer to the parents to create to write what they thought of all these days to compose poems editing photoshopping this is what they have been doing and then posting it sharing it social media now as educators which i always write on my profile that edu- as educators our roles have changed we are no more dictators we are no more those who just give the lecture we are just supposed to be beside them they have got immense potential this generation has got immense potential we just need to be beside them to ensure that their psychomotor skills develop and they have a cognitive understanding in their effective domain they do what they can we need to be just beside them and trust me you cannot do it unless and until you try to understand your students every individual is different therefore we need to understand our students so that we give that encouragement to them so that they can perform there and that understanding can only be done when you yourself allow yourself to understand your colleagues and vice versa this will involve the thinking and the imagining so you give them some creativity work we you do a lesson or in the beginning of the lesson or in the midst of the lesson whichever way you, you feel i am very confident your institution has given you that liberty whichever way you use provided you maintain discipline your methodology doesn't trouble other classes because if you give a role play there is if you give a group discussion it shouldn't be said that the next class is impossible for the teacher to take of course you have to keep that in mind other than that i don't think any institution any management any principal gives you limitation ki ye nahi kar sakte you can't do that you can't do this so create the lesson through an art form because that gives the child the thinking power tell them to create and they'll do it you know what most of the time when we ask the children to finish their files i'm talking of senior classes 11 and 12 we give them to make the file trust me i'll be very open i'll be telling you that we hardly see those uh, files we just see whether it's a decorative one we just see if the pages are it's, it's well written and we give them out that children understand or we want very decorative one so they go out they give the money and then they bring in a beautiful file that's also not expected the child has not learned anything so you have to be justifying yourself when you give the work to your students only then it becomes possible for them to think to imagine to explore to make experience and apply the knowledge so that is what is art integration you need to help your children to experience to think to imagine and definitely then they will be able to apply what is creativity creativity can be in any subject creativity can be in any classroom creativity can be any time and with any one even that child who just passes even that child who gets 35 out of 100 i think even that child has some creativity so encourage that creativity friends encourage in such a manner that the child enjoys your class it can be done with anyone it's not only those children who get a uh, 90% it's not only those children who are obedient it is not only those children who give you answers encourage creativity in each and every child otherwise you are not a perfect teacher because if we don't understand the children if we don't take the responsibility of those of the children of my class i am not doing justice for my uh, job and no one has invited me i have come here on my own so if i have come on my own 
I have to do full justice to my students. And if I'm not doing this, I think this is not my job. There are many jobs which are applied, which are uh, very attractive enough. Maybe if you talk of the pocket size or the timing size or whatever, let me go and join that. Because if I'm here, I have to do justice to each and every child of my class. So my dear friends, please see, you bring in creativity in each and every one. Help them to be creative, help them to understand, help them to think and help them to apply the knowledge. Only then we will, you know what, most of our children these days are going overseas. Of course, if the parents can uh, have the money, they go overseas. But there are many failures. And one thing that we have analyzed is they do not have certain skills. Knowledge, excellent. They are doing very well. But certain skills like teamwork, they can't. They can't. Empathy, there is no empathy. They don't know how to adjust. So through your art, through your lesson, teach your children so that they are prepared when they are going out of, their, of your school premises. So uh, uh, what are the benefits of having an art-rich curriculum? First, I would say, with all these that we have uh, uh, just been discussing about, you will see the performance level becomes better. Children perform better. If there is a broken family, the child is under trauma, there is so much of disturbance at home, and the child generally performance deteriorates. Similarly, they're directly linked. If the child understands your chapter well, I think it becomes much easier for the child to understand, produce, and therefore become better in, uh, in the, uh, making their performance, academic performance. So it can enhance literacy by as much as 24% while enhancing mathematical capability approximately 6%. I'm sure there are many maths teachers here who will agree to the fact if you don't, if you have anything to say, you can just, uh, I'll give you a pause for a minute. I would want some maths teacher to respond to this. Would you agree that uh, maybe not 6%, but yeah, it can be around that or some percentage. Do you agree to that? Do we have any maths teacher here? Any maths teacher? Or uh, do we have the permission to unmute them? If you can raise your hands, maybe you can be unmuted. Let's not waste time. If there is anyone, please come forward or else we'll continue. Okay. The teachers can unmute you. themselves. Uh, we've already left that permission open, so it should not be a problem. Okay. okay. Yes, maths teacher, come out. Let's see. Maths teacher means very intelligent. Yeah. Okay, I don't think there is anyone. Let me continue. Art is a combination of play and creativity. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you a maths teacher? Yes, you raise your hand. Yes, DP Filigri. Yes, sir, over to you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Do you think that it enhances literacy? I mentioned 24%. But uh, uh, do you would you agree to that? The mathematical capability also increases? Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, you agree to that. Yeah. Have you tried anything, sir? Kabhi, aapne, did you try anything uh, other than just the formula and the calculations? Anywhere, yeah. unknowingly introduced art in your classes? Yeah, sometimes I ask them logical questions. They teach us. Uh, it's them indulging in class. Okay, there's some echo from your side. Uh, however, I could get it that yes, you also did knowingly or unknowingly or maybe you've attended such workshops or not attended but as a teacher it's an inborn quality that we have that we try all these methodologies while we teach in the class very good thank you so much sir art is a combination of play creativity and engages students for higher order thinking higher order thinking what is that higher order thinking we we have this box uh, uh, chapters, like, I mean, sorry, question paper. In the question paper, we have some which we had started a couple of years back, that HOTS question. What do you mean by HOTS? Any BST teacher here? Business studies? Any business studies teacher? We'll hurry up a little. Any business study teacher here? Okay, any English teacher? If you could just switch on the uh, on your camera and if you could. Good morning, doctor. I'm Rajiv. Yes, ma'am. Hi. Hi, sir. Rajiv Das. How are you? Fine. Thank you. Sir. 
And uh, you are an English teacher or a BST teacher? Uh, English uh, discipline, ma'am. Ah, yes, that is why you're so enthusiastic. Uh, I, I love English teachers more because I myself is an, was an, I mean, I am an English teacher. Yes, sir. Na, namaskar. Uh, do you think, do you have higher order thinking uh, uh, questions in, in English thoughts, as we say? Exactly, ma'am. When it comes to me making question papers, I always prefer uh, giving uh, pupils uh, this pattern of higher order thinking skills because I believe that uh, once we give them a platform to think a bit um, open ended, then probably they develop into a more creative minds later on in their lives. Great, great. Have you ever tried anything to in incorporate art in your chapters or in any lesson? Of course, ma'am. I do believe in having all my classroom walls uh, fill up with uh, charts which are very relevant and contextual with the poems that are incorporated in the syllabus of the book that year. Mm, very nice. Great. Which standards do you take, sir? I take up eight and nine, ma'am. Okay. Great, great. Nice talking to you, sir. I am sure all the English teachers or any other subject, you might be having this fourth section, as we call, where... Uh, if we incorporate art, I think it becomes much better and it becomes much more creative. Any art teacher, yes, since I've started talking, uh, I'll just take a few more seconds and uh, talking. Any art teacher, any art, visual arts, uh, performing arts, any art teacher here, yeah, just raise your hands or come up in, uh, on the, the spotlight and give it to him or her. Music or art, fine arts. Music teacher, fine arts teacher, no? No one is here? They must be thinking enough of art. Hame kon sikhaega art ke baare mein? <laughs> no, it's not that. We don't want to teach anyone, whether you are an art teacher or music teacher. We don't want to teach. We're just wanting to utilize your expertise and ensure that our classrooms are uh, more interesting. That is the reason why. Because it said most of the time in previous days, you know, we, we used to see, oh, art teacher, hai. she will not be able to do any, uh, uh, this or she will not be able to do that. But right now we see this is so important that we need their help many a times to ensure that our classes are more interesting. Anyway, I'll go to the next higher order thinking. If we can be designing, can be constructing, can be planning, can be producing, can be inventing, generating new ideas and viewing things in a different way. That is where we think of higher order thinking. It is just not responding to a lesson that is taught, but how we can design the question, how we can construct that particular lesson, how we can plan the gist of the lesson, whatever be the chapter, whichever way. Yeah, is it anyone wanting to say something? Yes, Jayashree. Yes, uh, ma'am. Ma uh, I just wanted to say one thing. Uh, just now you were saying, you know, regarding uh, art teachers, like, you know, you can sekte, nekar sekte, like, we often say that, like we used to, like we used to hear people say that, okay, regarding our teachers. Ma'am, can you see me? Yeah, yeah, I can see you. Okay. Can you so what I want to say is, uh, ma'am, I just want to put this one, uh, put this forth, that how good we are as teachers, and our teachers may not have a language teacher within her, but every language teacher needs to have one art teacher within. So. I yes. think we all need to be somewhere an art teacher, ma'am, so that you know we can. Um, Jaisri, what's your subject? Ma'am, English. Oh, okay. Absolutely, you're so very right. You know, everyone can be an artist in his yes, or her own way. Yes. I have to be yes. an artist in my thought process. It Absolutely. need not necessarily be touching the the uh, brush and painting. If I'm not being yes. able to paint, that does not mean I'm not an artist. So many times uh, I would request, if you're not speaking, please uh, put your mic on mute. Otherwise, you will not be able to continue. If you're not speaking, you can mute yourself because there is disturbance. Okay, thank you very much. So we need, now our teachers are so yes, very ma important. It is not the language skill. Of course, language skill is something which is very important because communication skill yes. is what we need to communicate ourselves. This pandemic, I think that's the one skill which really kept us going, talking to each other, WhatsApping each other, or giving solace to each other. Don't worry, things will be right. So that is absolutely a requirement, having a communication skill. 
but only good english yes. does not necessarily mean you can communicate well absolutely it is how you express your ideas and that's communication skill it can be your own language or whatever ma'am at times ma'am at times we can also sing it out dramatize yeah i mean create a beautiful ambience in the class you know very to make nice. it uh, seem very, very creative good. maybe just yes, ask the children to do it yes and absolutely and that particular child who is not paying attention to you if you can he pick up that child and make him mm-hmm. do it he will definitely listen to your class absolutely because absolutely. he knows yes. that that is his expertise and the teacher has realized that and that is the reason the teacher wants him to enact or or express himself in his way and he will be yes. more attentive to your class so that yes, these are few right. things which we need to understand yeah uh, thank you ma'am the movement the movement your body parts your synchronization is all that is required mental synchronization with the eye movement with the uh, i mean with the understanding of the lesson is something which is very very much dependent on each other if we talk of multimedia which is the 21st century literacy is a form of art beautiful presentation editing and then we need software designers these days you know we all need to incorporate and find out endless possibilities in multimedia let the, you know initially also before the pandemic there were many teenager parents who used to come to me and say ki ma'am he doesn't leave the mobile he's always glued up to the laptop i used to say one thing you don't take media away from or don't take technology away from the child because he is born in this era you and me we are intruders this uh, laptop and and in uh, technology is part of his birth now he's got the birth right don't take it ask him or advise him to use it properly be beside try to enjoy his thought processes and guide him in such a manner that he knows how much to do how much to use and what to see what not to see and now this is what we are depending on yesterday when people were taking away the laptop or the uh, mobile phone today they are giving it because the classes are all now blended and we have been online and whatever so we need to understand and change ourselves as a beginning as i said we need to unlearn what we had learned and learn new to use technology so that the child can use utilize this multimedia or technology for critical thinking for observing listening and of course to ensure that he can collect the modules and make his own presentation and there are endless possibilities in this it's an ocean of knowledge let us guide our children to dig out all those which are important to dig out those which is relevant and go ahead if we talk of music we will definitely have to understand that music brings in rhythm beat melody harmony and life is a harmony we need to balance our life we need to tune our life in such a manner that we are disciplined we are empathetic we understand each other so it is so much dependent on uh, each other that we need to teach children the music of life it may not be the hindi music or the carnatic music the music of life has to be taught to the children music teaches them how to collaborate to be teamwork if there are 15 children singing one child goes out of tune the song goes bad we need to teach our children that that is what life is we need to work in sync if i don't wake up in the morning at the proper time i will be getting late to my school the darwan will not allow me to come to school my parents will be called and my i, I may miss the chapter so this harmony this discipline of life has to be taught and it definitely through music also we can teach them it's a powerful memory tool a child will have to learn the lyrics so it memory tools and of course if a child is good at it he gets enough praise it increases his confidence similarly they, when we talk of drama we have to understand that understanding each other understanding the lesson and understanding each other if i don't remember after which dialogue of shruti will i speak i will not be able to catch my dialogue so how do i have this social 
intermingling or the social uh, uh, gathering? How will I understand the social requirement? How can my gesture be such a manner that I need to sit straight in the class while I'm not understanding the lesson? If I sit in this manner, my attention will not be there. So, so many things that we can learn. It's so easy. Drama means natak karo, upar jau. You learn, uh, uh, I mean, give the role play and the child does it. But while doing that, there is so much that we learn. This is what we need to teach our children. I will uh, uh, go a little faster. There are quite a number of slides remaining. We talk of visual arts. Uh, it gives us expression. I mean, if you teach your child how to give expression to your answers, I think you need to tell him also how visual art helps in that. You know, the color, the texture, the shape, all these are so important when we do art. So that is where the child learns. So it is not the responsibility of the art teacher only to talk of the texture and the shape or the, or the combination of colors. It is you and me as English mathematics or uh, 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 any, any uh, social science teacher. Also, we need to teach the children relate art and our lessons in such a manner that we ensure that the child develops confidence in the personal skill and other perspectives of life. Art education, art integration. In art-aided learning, we work with the artists at the center curriculum and art education is a process that encourages the sensory exploration. It provides a platform to work with new ideas and material. And the best thing is it helps to create expression. I think at the end of the day, whether you are a maths teacher, you want the child to understand in such a manner, because that formula is fine. But how to express it, the sums will not be same. It's going to be a different sum. So how will he create the impression is something we need to understand. If I talk of, once again, higher order thinking, the child will have to evaluate the child will have to criticize, the child will have to experiment and justify the decision of the action. That is what is required again in a daily. So why is art integration important? Why is art integration important? It's all that we have been discussing for such a long time. Why is art integration important? Because it helps each and every learner to create, to create a go in for problem solving, it helps the child to understand the difficult concept. It can be visual making or it can be a physical uh, engagement. Art instruction helps children to develop the motor skills, the language skills, the decision making skills, the risk taking, and of course it helps in inventing. Visual arts will definitely teach our, teach our children how to bring a balance in the chapter, in the lesson taught, and of course in life. When I have to finish my lesson, because I will have a test, how many revisions will I need? This discipline is what we are uh, there to understand that art actually teaches us. You will have to agree that it gives in critical thinking. It will help the children to think critically. Art helps in higher attendance, a very, very, very important aspect. If you make the child class interesting, your attendance increases. And your attendance is something which you need for the child to understand the lesson. Be it virtual or online, if the child is not present, I can't reach him. And that ends everything, that closes the door. And therefore, attendance is something which we require. And once the attendance is gone, then I think we also can ensure that the child understands my lesson because he's attended all my classes and therefore his score also in improves. It's just a quote. It provides an opportunity to identify and capabilities and there are multiple pathways of learning. The child enjoys, I think the, uh, the art centers of each and every school is a place where children love to go. And it just sometimes allow them just to go to the music room. Let them be there or just to go to the auditorium. Let, you can take permission, you can organize a class there itself instead of the classroom, normal classroom scenario. And you see the difference in that particular chapter. You see the difference in the, in the eyes of the children. So the best teacher are those who equip students to, the, to uh, understand for themselves, to create for themselves. That is something which we all need to understand. I will now wait for certain questions 
uh, uh, that I've had enough of talking. I think I, there are many things that you have to, uh, you, it's, it's there in your mind. If you could ask me, I'm there to solve your, I, I won't say solve, but definitely try to give some explanation or discuss something uh, so that we all can understand the chapter better. Anyone who's having some uh, query or anything that you feel, no ma'am, this was not this uh, point that you have brought out is not correct. I feel it differently. I think I'm uh, here to listen to that. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, so over to you teachers. Please feel free uh, to ask any questions that you have. In fact, if you have certain ideas which you you know, implement in your day-to-day -day classroom. If you could share that as well, uh, we have very senior teachers, uh, and every time that I have been to DPS Delivery, I've had amazing, uh, you know, interactive sessions. Uh, I can see Indrajit, ma'am, over here. Uh, sorry, teachers, I'm taking ma'am's name because ma'am is one person I've interacted very closely. I'm not sure if Dr. Shivastav is there uh, as well. So teachers, please feel free uh, to you know, put forward your questions. Either you can unmute yourself or even if you feel, you can put it across in the chat box as well. Oh, I can see Moitri, ma'am, as well. So over to you, teachers. Hey, let's start with someone saying, Kaisa laga? how was the uh, discussion? Let's start from that then. If there is no question, I think someone can just uh, start saying, how did you like today's discussion? Break the ice. Ma'am, uh, can I say something? Yes, is it Jayashree again? Yes, ma'am. Uh, yeah. Actually, uh, one thing I've learned from this entire program today and I'm going to end it just with one simple sentence that you had uttered uh, uh, in the beginning of the uh, program, that a happy teacher makes a happy class. And I think I'm going to stick to that. And when I'm going to go home today, I'm going to get, I mean, take with me a lot of information, a lot of uh, encouragement from you, inspiration. And I think this has done uh, wonders with me. And I, of course, I always try to make the class happy. But this simple sentence that a happy teacher makes a happy class is definitely going to work with me. Great. Sure. Thank you Great. so much, ma'am. Absolutely. Lovely. I think if all of us uh, do it, you know, you know, all of us think in the similar manner, I think we, I definitely feel everyone will agree. I've got so many seniors here. I, I'm sure, ma'am, you will also agree to the fact that this generation I would repeat, has got immense potential. And we can yes. see the future to be a very, very bright. Only thing is a little bit of guidance here and there is required. Yes. If we are happy and we can throw this happiness to them, yes. that is what wow. we're going to give a happy world. Yes, ma'am. Maitri, ma'am, anything from your side? It was very. It was a very good session, ma'am. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Learned a lot, and we will definitely implement it in our classes. We are already doing, and we'll be doing continuing. Yes. That is what I initially also said that if we are not going to learn anything new, we are doing it knowingly, unknowingly. However, it is a, just a discussion, so that by chance we are missing it out, we will be ensuring yes. that we follow it right. Thank you so much, Mitri, ma'am. Thank you so much, Jashri, ma'am. Uh, Thank you, ma'am. Anybody, anybody else? Yes, I am Indrajit Parya. It was really a very nice session. Thank you. Uh, our teachers are using all these things in their classes. Even in language, uh, if we are doing a, a paragraph writing concerning to that paragraph, we are giving them to do the artwork with that connected of that thing. If our uh, tevar hai. Peacock ke upar mein to saath mein picture banana, uske baare mein thodi jankari collect karna, we our teachers are doing that. And uh, thank you so much for uh, uh, showing this uh, session. So nicely presentation it was. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Ma Me too. I have a word of compliment, please. According to what I understood out of this session was not only it was enthralling and grooving, I believe that your um, 
objective was uh, to make us realize that through art integrated education the process education is literally reborn it is given a new shape a new dimension where the integral uh, core qualities and attributes within a child surfaces and hence learning becomes a totally new experience altogether so with this i would also definitely uh, put in all the key elements that you discussed about we talked about in general and uh, integrate and imply it in my school uh, teaching method and i would like to thank you so much and uh, look forward in attending more sessions from your end ma'am thank you so much sir and i could get a few messages also yes. we got parvati divan who's writing it thank you ma'am thank you very much this is encouragement you know what we need to encourage our children give that slight comments also in the class in such yes. a manner that children get enthusiastic about performing frankly speaking i have been this two years have been i think i've got a thousands of my viewers where i'm taking such uh, workshops on a national and international level but at the end of the day even i look forward to such comments here and there where i get an encouragement for my next session so we need to ensure that children need encouragement so we need to encourage our children for better performance uh, i just want to convey thank you to the madhuban because they are time to time they are uh, giving us and reaching us with the, and uh, we are able to meet all of you like uh, scholar people those who are helping us uh, uh, so much ki hamara jo education hai hum jo hamara padhane ka tarika hai wo time to time aur uh, finish ho aur acha polish ho right. so it's a thank you so much madhuban also all the team members pleasure is ours ma'am it's always a pleasure uh to organize sessions for uh you know your school uh i actually personally miss the you know interaction that i had every year so i always say this uh that chiliguri or north bengal per se is always my second home uh okay. unfortunately the last two years have not been uh, a very pleasant year because there there's been very less travel but previous years and i look forward that things are normal so i'll be able to spend more time but i always used to say and my family always says this that you know chiliguri is probably your second home you spend as much time there as you spend in calcutta so uh thank you so much teachers as usual for being such a fantastic audience uh dr patricharya thank you very much uh for taking time out from your busy schedule i know you got so much on your plate already but it was really really nice of you to take some time out and i really hope you know uh, in the ne- near future we could do this uh, at a, on a physical session i think that would be really really more interesting teachers would get an opportunity to interact with you personally i would love uh, to do delivery absolutely <laughs> ma'am so fingers crossed hope situations are normal and we don't uh, you know go back to where we were two years back and we can travel a lot more interact with people more personally of course that the virtual world has really given us an opportunity to connect with each other across the country without you know the uh, thought without the planning of travel so we almost travel the entire country virtually but however the physical sessions are i i always feel are more interesting more uh, enriching so hopefully we will be able to do that soon but uh, with that we come to the end of this session uh, thank you so much teachers uh, for taking time out and thank you ma'am once again uh, in case if you all have any feedback uh, to share please feel free to get back to us uh, you can share your thoughts your feedback with uh, nirmalu sir and he will definitely get back uh, to me uh, the certificates would be sent across to school and uh, with that thank you so much once again uh, anything else ma'am that you would like to uh, you know tell us just a small uh, parting message from you i think my internet is giving me a little trouble however i'll just wind up with this uh, saying that thank you so much for giving me an opportunity meeting so many people from my own place and uh, i would love to visit dps siliguri for sure to see the lovely faculty and the people around otherwise take care god bless please be safe uh, and anything from delhi any time you can have my number from uh, uh, your organization if there is anything that i can be of help i'm there thank you thank you so much so with that have a nice 
the upcoming week. Stay safe. And thank you so much, teachers. I will end the meeting with your permission. Alif? Yes, thank you.